Welcome to Bethel Battlefield. Please pay close attention to this video as it will explain the procedures and safety rules of this paintball park. Once you have been processed through registration, you will be given an admission card with a lanyard. Please keep this card visible to the referee staff. It will be your ticket onto the fields today. The admission card has several sections, the date, safety, chrono, and referee. Once you have paid, the date will be punched. After you watch this video, we will punch the safety section and then you can get your rental gear. Once you have your rental gear, you can go to the chrono station to test your gun's speed. After you have shown our staff that the gun is under 285 feet per second, we will punch your card and you will be allowed onto the playing field. The referee section of the card you do not want punched. If you violate any safety rule, our referees may punch the referee section. On your first violation, you will sit out one game. If your referee section gets punched twice, you will be asked to leave for the day without a refund. Basic Rental Gun Our basic rental gun is the BT-4 Combat or Tipman Model 98. Both guns are semi-automatic. The safety is located above and slightly behind the trigger. When the red button is showing, the gun is ready to fire. Press the button in to engage the safety. One of the key functions of the rental gun is the bolt. Each time you shoot, the bolt will move forward and then back in place until the trigger is pulled again. If the bolt does not move back, the gun will not shoot even if the trigger is pulled. If this occurs, simply pull back on the bolt pin until it clicks into place. Do not always rely on the gun's safety. Barrel sleeves must be attached at all times when outside the playing area. We do not allow barrel plugs. You must use a barrel sleeve. Your loader can hold approximately 200 paintballs. To close, simply snap the lid tight. Do not pick up paint off the ground. Dirty paint will damage the gun and break inside your loader. Your gun's air tank will hold approximately 500 shots. There's a gauge on the tank that will give a reading on how much air is remaining. To fill your tank, head over to the air station. Hook the quick disconnect onto the tank. With the hose firmly attached, push down or pull on the knob until the gauge reaches 3000. To release, pull the outer ring down and remove the tank. If you need assistance, please ask the staff. Goggles are required at all times when you are on the field and at the chrono station. Make sure your goggles are a safe, snug fit. To tighten your goggles, pull the two plastic tabs on the goggle strap away from each other. If they are too loose or too dirty, please ask the referee staff for help. We have a goggle cleaning station for you to clean your goggles if they become dirty or covered in paint. Use the water provided to clean them off. Please do not use Windex when cleaning your goggles. Do not dry fire your gun in the parking lot. Firing your gun in the parking lot could lead to your card being punched. All testing or dry firing should take place within the chrono area. Once your marker is loaded, proceed to the chrono area to have your admission card punched. In the chrono area, you can shoot at targets to get a better understanding of range and accuracy. Before you are allowed on the field, you must chrono your gun. Simply lay the barrel on the rest stop of the chronograph and pull the trigger. Any reading over 285 must be turned down. Our referee staff can help you with this. Once your reading is under 285, it is safe for you to play and the referee will punch your card, allowing you on the field. Remember to cover your barrel with the barrel sleeve when you leave the chrono area. On the field. Games are started and ended by the referee, either a whistle or a loudspeaker. The following items are prohibited. Weapons, knives, hot burning smoke, tools, food, cigarettes. No overshooting. If you shoot someone more than three times, your card could get punched. No bunkering. We have a 10-foot rule. Ask them to surrender first. If they don't surrender, keep it to a maximum of two shots and below the waist. No physical contact. You will immediately get two card punches and no refund. No blind firing. You must be able to see what you are shooting at. No climbing the trees. No dead man's walk. If you pretend to be hit in order to deceive the other team, your card could get punched. No cheating. 
Play fair. Don't litter. Throw away empty paint bags, then break down your empty paint boxes and place them next to the trash cans. No foul language. Act responsibly so everyone can enjoy the game. Rules of play. Each game is 15 to 20 minutes long. Each team will have their own colored armband. The referee will explain the rules prior to each game. If you are shot, the ball must break. If it does not break, you are not out. Upon being shot, if you have a quarter size or bigger mark, you are eliminated. If you go out of bounds, you are eliminated. If you raise your hands to signify that you are hit, then notice it did not break, you are still eliminated. Call for a paint check by the ref if you are unsure of a hit. Once you call out, you can't come back in the game until the next game. Remember, the other team cannot hear you. They can only see your actions. So if you are hit, do not hide, or they will continue to shoot. If you get hit, do not run away, they will continue to shoot. Just raise your hands or raise your marker from behind the bunker to signify that you are hit. Place your barrel sleeve on and raise your gun over your head. Return to the staging area or to wherever your referee directs you. If they are walking with the marker down and no barrel sleeve, you have our permission to shoot them. After the game, be prompt to reload and fill up your tank. We usually only break for about 5 to 10 minutes between games. If you are not ready, you will have to wait until the next round. Remember, play safe and have fun.